Thank you, Director. So, it is indeed a pleasure to be back. And as was mentioned, I've served at, as director at Franklin County, and I've served as state director as well. And in both roles, I feel consistent with what the director has said, that now we have both the need and the opportunity in order to structure some reform. You know, when I was director at Franklin, um, at one point, we had the big windstorm that many of you may remember. And in that windstorm, I had approximately 40,000 people uh, come through our doors in about nine days. And there were various challenges in serving them. But now, when we talk about now and the time for reform being now, there are things that have changed in both policy and technology that now gives us opportunities that really didn't exist there. And I know in my work with Director Fisher, he's aware of some of the things that we're now talking about um, that we'll be able to do the next time that a disaster strikes in the state, where we'll be in a position to help families with other counties being able to help other counties, who the county that was affected, helping the county, uh, or being helped by a county that was not affected in ways that we couldn't do before. And it is that kind of thing that we need to actually expound upon as we go forward. You know, the other day, I was taking a look, and in doing so, there was approximately uh, 30 or so programs in youth and education and training and uh, employment and general <coughs> assistance and those 30 programs were just the ones that I was familiar with. Just the ones that I was familiar with. And as I was thinking about those, I was thinking, how do we weave that into something that actually makes the world better for folks? How do we weave that into something that actually works for folks? And I believe now is our opportunity in both reforming policy and reforming practice in, in using technology, in doing collaboration, all of those things, now I believe is a good time and an opportunity to do so. But some of that is, well, how are you going to do some of that kind of thing? Well, one of the concepts, and, and, and again, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, is to become person-centric, family-centric. We all know that each person, each family, they bring with them different challenges. In many cases, no two families are the same. Eligibility might be the same, but the needs in, that families have differ for a variety of reasons given the challenges that they're facing. I mentioned the 30 programs. We all know that that means that there needs to be a level of better coordination. But better coordination to what end? I think the director commented on that. And that is simply trying to put people on a path to self-sufficiency. Right. Now, there are a whole host of other challenges and other things that you can talk about, whether that be wages or whatever it might be. But it still doesn't mean, at least from my perspective, that I should deviate from the mission that says, hey, let's figure out some ways to coordinate all of these things and actually put people on a path toward self-sufficiency. In doing that in a, my view, in a per person-centric model, it'll have many benefits. One, it will help families navigate the system and the world better. Families who are in crisis often are overwhelmed by what they face in trying to find the opportunity to get help. We can get better at that. In addition, that by definition helps families that often face some level of immediate crisis. We see that many times over in the world of job and family services. But then secondly, we have to get to that second part, which is that work support that again that the director referenced. How do you find, keep, and move up the employment ladder. 
that's that path to self-sufficiency. And this is what ultimately moves the needle for that person or that family. I also, and you'll hear from her in just a moment, wanted to acknowledge and give a special thanks to Owens Corning, who's here today. Because as we talk about work and job and those kinds of things, there has to be a realization within the community and at the community level of the vital role that businesses play. And the fact that they have partnered in this community in the way that they have is in part what is making a difference for those families and for those ind individuals. And without them, we would be missing a vital piece of the puzzle.